Welcome to Drink Wine Be Crafty. I'm Megan and I'm back today with another craft and some more wine. I'm not as excited about the wine as I am about the craft. I am in love with the wreath that I made. I, guys, I made this crochet piece probably three or four months ago and I changed my mind. I didn't finish it and then I made these pine cones, flowers, sorry there's some strings of glue, pine cone flowers and then once I made those I was like oh, that would look so cute on my wreath and I'm sorry I was right this is adorable it's beautiful. I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna add something to it or if I'm gonna do something you know to hang it. I will have a finish of course, I'll, you know, I'll show you guys how I finished, but today I'm going to focus on the pine cones. I'm going to show you how to make the pine cones. I got my pine cones from outdoors, so I have lots of different shapes and sizes. I found these at the park beside my, my house, and if you're going to do outdoor pine cones, do not bring them inside until you have baked them. Uh, I actually leave them outside. I put, I put some aluminum foil on my a baking sheet and then preheat the oven for 175. I baked mine for two hours. I left it, I saw some people do it, did it for 30 minutes. I decided to just do the longest time that I saw people recommend. Um, the amount of bugs that came out of it was disgusting. So you definitely want, I took the baking sheet outside, put the pine cones on it and they went straight into the oven because they were gross. Um, it, after I picked them up and saw the bugs, I was like, oh, thank God <laughs> that I didn't bring them inside. So, um, the paint, I bought these at Walmart, 50 cents, and they work great for what I did. This is Tuscan Red, uh, Apple Barrel Tuscan Red. I used Apple Barrel Lime Sherbet and then Christmas Green. And then for my gold ones, I just use spray paint. Um, if you can spray paint all of them, that's the ideal thing to do because it takes no time to just spray paint them. It just does take a little while to use the hand <clears throat> to use the hand painting. But yeah, we're gonna. Oh, and also you're gonna I have some little cutters, and then I have a wrench and some tweezers. All of these we're gonna use to cut the the pine cones the way we want them and pull them apart. I told you guys before, I'm the queen of working with what I got, so I just worked with the tools I had. I had played around with them just a little bit before I did this one and I did some other flowers. There's a lot of different styles you can do and different looks, so I'll probably try to do, it depends on the timing, it, and I should be able to show you guys how to do one of each, so yeah, we'll jump into it and see what happens. Okay. So what I did was because I wanted to try to use as much of the pine cone as possible, I start cutting away at the middle. I have to take my little, my fancy wrench here and just start squeezing it to crush it up. It's gonna be super messy. And if you have gloves, you might wanna use gloves because these things hurt. <laughs> I don't, have any gloves that are good for this. It's hard to do at a certain angle. You know what? I'll just start twisting and pulling them off. So you want to clear out the middle without messing up the top or the bottom. I mean, if you do and you have enough, it's no big deal. But... I wanted to get the most out of the ones I had already baked. Ow, son of a gun, that, this one hurts. I might need to pick a different one. This one's like extra pokey. There we go, I'm starting to get in there. It doesn't have to be pretty because we're going to basically just cut this thing in half. Okay, let's see if I can get it better. I'm just gonna, I need to start being more destructive here. Because once you can, once I can get to the center of the pine cone, I'm gonna cut it in half. And then it's way easier to work with. Without poking myself. The other ones weren't quite as bad as this one. I picked like the deadliest one to, to do for this video. Okay, so we're getting close. 
to being able to get <laughs> to the middle. And then when you can, you're gonna break out the, so if you can, I don't know if, I, if I'm doing this clearly, but I'm just clearing out the middle here. And then you can, I'm not gonna use it that much of the top or the bottom so I can take a couple layers out if I need to to get to the center. And then when I, once I get to the center, I wanna get in there with this thing and start trying to chop it in half. I mean, this is some work. <laughs> uh, it's fun though. I mean, this kind of stuff, to, this is right down my alley, so. I enjoy it, but you know, it's not a simple do it in a couple minutes type of project or, you know, it, I did, uh, and all the flowers that are on my wreath, I did in one day. Um, I don't know how many hours it took me to do those, but I did, I mean, I have kids, I have my three girls, so I couldn't have done it all day, probably a couple of hours while they were at school. And some of them are, this one's actually pretty sturdy. Some of them that I had kind of just crumbled whenever I <laughs> try to do it. This one's being, okay, almost got it. So I'm going to completely break it in half. There we go. Woohoo. All right. So the great thing about this particular one is it's simple because once you've done that, you're finished. If you want it smaller, because at this point we have a couple layers you can do less layers or more. And honestly, whenever you put it on your wreath or whatever you're making, you might decide after you've painted it to, to make it smaller. So it'll fit in a certain space or something like that. But this flower is done until we paint it. Now the other side. So for this one, I mean, once you get them in half, they're actually all pretty easy. I take out the top piece and just start pulling it apart until I get it how I want it. And guys, you could probably find better tools. I'm seriously working with what I have. I just, if you get all the way down in the bottom and you just kind of do it back and forth, it'll come apart pretty easy. And there, I think I want to clip off a little bit of this. But you can really do it however you want. Whatever makes your heart happy as far as the look of it goes. And then, oh, I don't want to break it. I felt like I almost broke it. Oh, there we go. Um, I think I want to do a couple more layers down. Because I like it whenever it looks a little bit more open on some of them and this one's a good one for that. Okay, so this one will be one kind of like this. So we have two so far. And next we'll do these, I love these. These are, these are also the bottom of the pine cone. And I have plenty of pine cones y'all, so I'm not gonna chop any more in half. I just wanted to show you how you can make more out of one but that's that's a lot of work for the video so this one i'm just gonna start hacking at it now if you're just gonna if you're not gonna use the um pine cone for more than one you can just really go at it and just tear it up which is way more fun being a little destructive sometimes we need to get our uh, aggression out <laughs> uh-oh i'm throwing it Best thing to do, if you can, hold it with this, cut it with this. <laughs> Multitasking here. You can just break it right off. See, that one was easy. This one is a lot easier than the other ones. The other one, there was only one. All right, I think I'm gonna take a couple more layers off. The the um, tweezers really come in handy because you're going to, you want to take these off one at a time. So we're going to just peel it back until you get it how you want it. You can do a little bit. You could do a lot. I, th I like them a little bit more open with the smaller pieces off. 
inside. That's pretty. You could keep going. This one, sometimes too, they open up differently whenever you bake them. So some of them are a little bit. I like to have them all as different as possible. You don't want them to be too uniform. But so there, there's that one. So at this point we have three different ones. Now moving on. Oh, and on my wreath, some of these little bitty ones that are so adorable as they are, if you have small ones, I just painted those. I didn't, I actually, see I have one, two, I have one there. I think I put like, there's one. So I put about four of them on my wreath that I didn't do anything to. I just painted them. Because they're so cute, these little bitty ones. And then now we're going to, I think I might only have one more left of the creations that I have. And that is, I don't know if I really have one that I can make. This is the top part and this one's super simple. I probably should have saved that top part of that other one. Actually, here it is right here. This one will work. So if you, if you, cut it like I did the first one where you cut it in the middle then you'll have kind of a cute little flower looking piece right here and all I did on that one was just take the center piece out I might have took the center piece and maybe the first layer but even just the center the like long piece right there done so yeah guys that is it the great thing about painting these is you don't have to be precise in every little detail um i'm going where's my i'm gonna open this up a little bit more because it'll be oh shoot took too much off but for the video it'll be easier for me to show you how to paint it if i open it up i think that's perfect that'll work and i did accidentally take the extra one off right there but it still looks pretty Let's do the lime green that I have because it's so bright. Um, I'm going to use really, depending on the size, I have a bigger paintbrush. Um, you can start off with a bigger one. Uh, I with, with my wreath, I left the middles just natural. With the other flowers that I made, I painted them orange and yellow inside. You can, this, you could do these any colors, y'all. It's, and it's so pretty. Yeah, that one's too big. Let's do, let's do this one. Because you really, I kind of stick the paintbrush in little crevices and the corners and get it. That's another reason why it's good to just trim off probably these, these right here. Because the more you have... And you can't really see them when it's sitting like this. If it's gonna sit to the where you can see the sides, it'll make a difference, but and that's the I was telling you if you can do spray paint, spray paint's the way to go. Because it's it takes no time. And then if you want to do a color in the middle, I'll do my little red. I have a little bit of red here. You can whenever I did these flowers, you can see I left a little Maybe you can see. I left a little brown showing, so I just kind of... All right, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And remember, I'm still... What's today? Sunday or Monday. I'm going to do my giveaway Sunday or Monday. I'm, I'm excited. I have a few people. If you want to be in the giveaway, I'm going to be giving away my... I finally bought a... I haven't sewn it together, y'all, because I, I finally bought the insert. Um from Joann's. They had them 60% off. I knew they were going to have a sale. I was waiting patiently. Um, but we have the pillow here that I am giving away. To get the pillow, all you have to do is like, subscribe, and comment your favorite wine. I'm going to pick somebody's wine. I'm going to do a video either Sunday or Monday. If I picked your wine, you're going to get the pillow. And then if you enter in the giveaway, all the people that enter in the giveaway, I'm going to do a drawing for my wine and wine me wine glass not this one of course it's mine i'm gonna make one for you guys or for whoever wins um so yeah if you want to do that please like subscribe even if you don't want to enter like subscribe hit the notification bell and i will have the next video i'm going to do i'm going to show you how to crochet the wreath so come back for that see you later guys bye